Good morning, welcome to a brand new weekly vlog. This morning I am heading off to Leeds Burstall. Got the windows open as someone was walking past, so I thought I'd just stop vlogging there. Um, I'm off to meet my mum at Leeds Burstall Shopping Park, so we are going to have a quick browse around HomeSense, TK Maxx, Ikea, those kind of shops. It's about an hour to get there, and it's like an hour for her to get there as well, so it's a good halfway point for us both. You are right? Because we're charging down there on the floor. So I'm going to drop Tom off at the bar because we've got this higher class still. So drop him off for the day and then I'll head off to Leeds Burstall. Come on then. Hop in. Let's go. If you're new to this channel, please stick around and hit that subscribe button. I weekly vlog every Sunday and then I do one or two videos during the week as well. Mostly fashion related, shopping related. And tomorrow I'm heading off into Manchester to meet Lydia again, who you'll have seen from my vlogs before. We're also meeting a girl called Hannah as well, who I've never met before. And then we're going to a Joe Malone event, doing some vlogging stuff. I'm booked in at Flint and Flint at Harvey Nichols to have a secondary Chinese holistic massage type thing so I'll bring you along there with me as well but first up Leeds I've arrived at Burstall meeting mum here at home since first but it's that sunny I don't want to go in yet so I think I'm just gonna hang around outside until she gets here and soak up this sun because it's pretty nice mum's here well apparently I'm say hi oh no don't, don't do that <laughs> I'm here with Mama. We're in Home Sense and then IKEA. Let's go shopping. I love those cushions. Oh yeah, I do. They go in our front room like a nice big floor cushion. Uh, $29.99. Reasonable. Yeah, it's like that all the way down. It's nice that $89.99. And this one looks quite nice as well. Oh, this one is 200. What's that then? Is it ripped? No. <laughs> it's like that all the way, isn't it? That bit of silver at the bottom. Yeah, it's like foil. Isn't it? It'll be a little, like, silver foil on there. That's a good buy, man. It's got a frame as well. Yeah, it's like nice. this floor rug as well. I wonder if they sell that. It's massive though. It takes up the whole... Oh yeah, they do. They're only £55. Ah, oh, right, yeah, it's there. I like them. Had I not got the other one I've already got, I would have probably bought that. And these are how much? £25. I love them. I think I'm going for these ones instead of those. And these are cute as well. It's a set of five. Quick pit stop at the restaurant. What are you getting? So we've got either dime cake or this one, which I think is apple something or other. I don't know which one to go for. Can't come to Ikea and not have some Swedish meatballs chips and then I went for the apple strudel or something I think it's called. Full trolley later I'm thinking about a haul because yes there's quite a bit and mum's got a full trolley too. Ah, I can't find my key. Just made a quick pit stop en route home to, I don't know if you can see that yet, there you go, B&Q. Um, I did get one plant pot that I need a new plant for. I have found some really good deals in B&Q for plants before, so I'm going to have a quick look here first. If not, I don't have to use it just yet anyway, the plant pot. I'm going to shut that door because someone's drilling or something outside. So B&Q was not really a success to be honest with you. They didn't have many to choose from and they weren't very good. Like sometimes the stock's really good, sometimes it's not. So on this occasion, it wasn't. Let me just pop you there. I'm going to show you some bits that I've got recently in case you're interested. I will say just firstly, I've got a big parcel here which I am working with the social edit. So I'm going to be opening that like in its own video. So I will show you the rest of the bits. Now... First of all, today I just picked up some micellar water. This time I've gone for this simple one. I'm out of breath because I just ran up the stairs. 
Okay, I also just wanted to show you these, which were a mega bargain found by my mother. She saw them when she was out and about shopping and she picked them up, hoping that they'd fit me, and they do, which is so perfect. They are from LK Bennett from Black Ribbon Collection. Uh, in a size eight, they are these leather uh, pants in this like nude kind of color. There's a bit of a seam running across there, but generally they're just like the perfect nude leather trouser, nice and high-waisted. They've got zip details on the back and on the side. And these were reduced from 625 pounds down to 50 pounds. So she picked these up for me. I'm so grateful she did because I actually tried them on when we were out today. Um, she gave them to me today. I tried them on in TK Maxx. They fit perfect. I was a bit worried that the waist would be a bit too small with it being an eight, but they don't like it's fine they fit fine so thank you so much mum moving on to some blogger mail first one i've not really opened i've opened this bag but i've not opened the package yet but as you can see it's from palmer's dear freya please find enclosed a selection of goodies for you to enjoy including palmer's newly launched tanning range both rrp 5.99 so that's really reasonably priced so these are what they both look like so you've got the body scrub here they smell amazing i can just smell it from opening the packaging and then the gradual tan there for all skin tones and that is what they look like so i look forward to trying these out let me know if you fancy a review on these over on my blog or instagram stories so next up we have a package from joni clothing so inside we have two items the first being this tee which i've seen zoella wear actually i know she likes joni clothing and um i've spotted this on her is it was it her vlogs or her instagram i can't remember um but it's this t-shirt which is so cute this is in a size small and it's called the brekkie t-shirt how cute is that breakfast club it's kind of like a vintage retro style t-shirt and then secondly something beige and cream so it is this really cute was it a dress i'm gonna have to like go on my knees here oh this is so cute i love this so it's uh right okay so it is it has got straps here but it is off the shoulder and it's got a button down detail it needs a bit of an iron i'm going into manchester tomorrow so i might actually take that with me try it on give it an iron and if so i'll take it with me if not i might wear this t-shirt because i think that's really cute too okay and lastly i got something from a new brand it's called dolls kill i'll leave the website and the links to these products down below they reached out to me and asked if i wanted to pick a couple of pieces from the website so i had a look and when i first saw the website i'm not gonna lie i judged and it was it's very much like kind of like that rave clothing well that's what i saw when i first opened the home page but they do have some really really nice um quite pricey some of their pieces but also they do have affordable pieces so there's a complete mix on their website so don't judge too soon if like me you go by the home page don't oh yeah i remember this it's a cute little crochet top in cream and it's got a ribbon that ties around the waist i love the color of it the quality of it feels really nice i got this in a size small the second thing i got was a two-piece and i went for it in this kind of like mustardy color i'll be honest it's more greeny mustard than i thought it was going to be but it's still really really pretty and perfect for spring and the top is kind of like a halter neck wrap around top that wraps you know around here and then ties at the back and then they go with these pants which are like wide leg culotte style uh trousers in this gorgeous like linen fabric it's really honestly the quality of this is really really nice i also got this which i believe this was a basic that i picked out yeah so i thought i would test their basics so i got this like beige ribbed um long sleeved top and it does feel really nice it's got a nice like weighty fabric to it if you know what i mean rather than just a really thin uh jersey material it feels really really nice okay so this is again another cute little basic it's really really pretty design though it's got this ruching in the middle and it falls at a really nice length that you can wear jeans and not show any midriff you know and it just kind of like sits above the jeans 
and then a cute little frill on the sleeves as well so uh yeah i thought that was super cute in like a gorgeous cream color which goes with everything and next up i picked up this swimming costume which i kind of intentions is to wear it okay as a swimming costume but that's rare in this country slash i've not got a holiday booked yet but i also quite like the idea of wearing this as a body as well so it is this gorgeous gingham print in this kind of like coral muted pinky red it's got a tie around the waist as well and it's super 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 high cut and low back this next one i really like and it is definitely something a little bit different but it comes with two pieces i don't know if i'll wear them together i'll be honest just because the way that i'm envisaging this part of the outfit doesn't really go with this so they pair this dress which is like a strappy dress with like a t-shirt dress on underneath in this plain nude colour. And I did get it in a small to medium. But like I said, this one I think I would wear separately um, with maybe like just a plain strappy white cami dress on underneath instead. So it is this gorgeous embroidered dress uh, with a little crochet detailing on the sleeves. Really, really pretty, subtle design there, like floral design embroidered on. And the lace goes all the way down. It's like a midi length, I'd say. Kind of to maxi, so mid-axi. Finally, I got something white crochet. I can't remember what this is. Oh yeah, okay, this is a really cute dress. It's very broderie on glaze style, kind of French looking. I don't know where I'm going with this. But this is the brand, which, by the way, they sell lots of different brands on their website. And I love the branding of this, if you can see there. Uh, so I got it in a size medium, very cute, girly, pretty dress with a little frill detail here at the bottom. So again, just a very, very pretty, paisley kind of kitsch dress, which I love. For now, I'm going to go make some dinner. Tom's at cricket tonight until probably late, it's just cricket training. So he won't be back for a while, so I'm going to get on some catch-up TV of Made in Chelsea and... Housewives of Cheshire and then eat my dinner and probably have a nice bath or something tonight because I feel like it's been very hot and clammy today. Then I need to do my hair, sort out what outfits I'm taking with me tomorrow to Manchester and just basically get my life sorted. I've got some emails to do so all that kind of stuff tonight and then I will probably see you next tomorrow. Good morning, today is Wednesday and I'm heading into Manchester so I'm just at the train station waiting for train into town and it is about half eight in the morning so nice and bright and early and i'm heading into first of all flint and flint which i mentioned previously i basically went in last week which you'll have seen in the vlog but they um they were running late with appointments so they said they'll do a complimentary one this week which is brilliant so i'm heading in to try out that and it's chinese holistic kind of therapy massage rather than a typical like swedish massage so it is a little bit different so i'll talk about that later and then i'm going to head in to meet lydia and hannah take some vlog pictures we've got an event at joe malone that we're going to pop into we're going to grab some lunch together and overall just have a pretty good day in manchester the only thing is the weather today is a little overcast and cloudy and a little bit colder which overcast for a blogger is fine so you've not got direct sunlight for for shooting in but it's a little bit chilly so i've got this um this cardi on from primark and this dress is from asos a while ago but if it's not in stock i'll link something similar and then i've got my primark vinyl bag with a couple of other bags inside let's go to manchester my massage which was amazing by the way it's definitely more intense than like a Swedish massage but I love it and now I'm heading to Zara to meet the girls hi girls 
We have decided to come to Vapiano for lunch. I've been here before, but it's really nice and the other girls haven't. So, um, I think pasta, pizza, salad, that's what we're thinking. It's very Instagrammable. Salads. Being good today. Can I have the same as the, the strawberry the spinach salad? Chicken as well, yeah? Uh, oh, no, just as it is, it's fine. Is? Yeah. And then with the raspberry dressing as well, yeah. Do you need anything else from here? That's it, thank you. What did you think of lunch? Very delicious. I'd definitely go back it there again. It was so yummy. Yeah. It was really good. They're not being paid to say this. Oh, these glasses too much gold. <laughs> yeah, I love them. They are extra. But without the necklace, I think it's no. kind of like the necklace anyway. So short. <laughs> Get that. Everyone has seen like the previous outfits and now we're in different outfits. Yes, we've had a had quick an change, change as bloggers so do. Good. And this is from Label Mix. I picked this up when I went to lunch with them last week and I'm obsessed with this. I love it so so much. Blogger behind the scenes. You work it girl. <laughs> Yes, please. When you smell it, the actual charamaya is also known as custard fruit because it's got like a yellow egg. Very soft flesh. It's it's a bit yeah. It must feel like you're sort of building it. So pretty. Nice. 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 after a lovely day in Manchester. If you're interested, the girls that I met up with were Lydia and Hannah, so I'll leave their handles below. Oops. But yeah, I had a fab day. We went to lunch at Vapian. In fact, I've already said that, haven't I? I don't need to repeat myself. I'm actually gonna try and film a quick video whilst I've got enough natural light because that's all I use. I don't have any artificial lighting currently. And then I will basically just have a bit of a tidy up session. I've got a bit of work to do, and then before I know it, Tom will be back and asking me, what we're having for dinner. I just want to show you what we got at Jo Malone. We had a lovely like hand massage. They also gifted us a cute little box with a fragrance in and it was between Wild Blue Bell or English Pear and Freesia which is the one that I went for. My absolute favourite Jo Malone scent is this one which is Merin Tonka and it's the Cologne Intense but this is definitely far more suited to like Summertime, so thanks so much for that Jo Malone and for a lovely little pamper session with a bit of champagne and Just an overall nice girly experience. I'd highly recommend doing that by the way if you wanted to if you're like visiting a city center Book in at Jo Malone and get like a nice hand and arm massage. They're so nice and relaxing They tell you all about the brand and yeah, it's well worth doing so yeah I'm gonna crack on and film before this light goes down and I'll catch up with you later. Tom's come home bearing gifts. So we have our new takeaway. So we have in here, oh, is this one of the flatbreads? Yeah, which one have we got? Homemade fries. Good morning, today is Thursday. We're just stopping off for some petrol. Tom's actually gonna go into hospital because he has a really bad shoulder that he's damaged so we're hoping that he can get a quick scan on it to have a look and hopefully play by this weekend we'll see but that is the plan so we're going into Blackburn if there's a long wait then I might pop into Primark here he is the injured soldier getting stick for that. <laughs> you were getting stick for that oh telling performance field right bro 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 so it's official, I win the award for being the worst girlfriend ever. <laughs> I'm sat inside waiting whilst Tom's in A&E trying to get his shoulder like scanned or examined or whatever. And in the waiting room there's people like being sick, there's like things sticking out of someone's head, someone with like a broken wrist and I'm like, I can't do this. <laughs> I'm so squeamish and so like, to be honest with you, it's more, well it's all of that, but it's more the sick as well that I really, sick and blood, just I can't do I get no one likes it but I fear it like I just can't sit in there and be relaxed and wait with Tom while someone's throwing up in the corner I'm sorry I just can't do it oh why am I such a worse I'm such a wimp <sighs> anyway I'm sat waiting in the car I'm just gonna get through some emails and scroll through my uh 
Instagram for a bit and they did say hopefully it won't be too long because they haven't got a big queue so he should be in and out but fingers crossed. Tom's back from his x-rays and now we're heading off to have some lunch somewhere. Where are we going for lunch? Kebabish. Oh really? Well good. So basically Tom needs potential surgery on his shoulder and knee but we're waiting for scans to get back and then off to lunch now, head back and get some more work done this afternoon. The UK's best ice cream place, that place there, right there, Slater's, is where we are heading because that food was spicy, so I'm justifying it with an ice cream for dessert. What do you want to run in and get? get yeah, do you want some fudge on it? Oh, yeah. They home make it. Oh, so good. I want big, I want big strawberry with raspberry sauce, please. So it's not the most Instagrammable place, but it's definitely yummy, isn't it? Yes. We got a bag of fudge as well. Yum. Who packed that fudge? Oh. I come at you from the driver's side this time because Tom's just picked up that car in front. He's just filling up with petrol. We're gonna stop via the bar to pick up some paint that they had left over and we're gonna paint our back garden area. So I'll show you like a little before and after. We're gonna make it white, hopefully put either some astro or decking in. It's literally a tiny little square. So I'll show you before and after when we get home anyway. Do a quick little before so we can see. We're better off just clearing all this out, aren't we? Look how empty it is. This was like a junkyard before. So we're gonna paint all these walls white. Plan is at some point to put some kind of decking down. Seating area around there maybe, some plants. And yeah, so this is the before. It might not be this vlog that you'll see the after, so stay tuned. So I'm gonna change into something a little more comfortable and doesn't really matter if it gets trashed. And uh, get to work with painting. <laughs> I've been given the manly role. You Tom, want to do this role? Tom's got the baby paintbrush. You <laughs> got it in my hair. He let me get him back a little bit, but look at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in my hair though. I'm gonna have to go and wash this out now, so you're gonna have to finish it. Looking very bright and beautiful. We're gonna keep that fence the colour it is, or do you wanna go darker? Really? We just need to get the floor sorted. Second coat of paint. Happy Friday, everybody. I am just working from home this morning. Well, pretty much all of today, really. Um, I'm just, I've just finished editing Sunday's vlog. And so that's currently rendering and ready to be uploaded to YouTube. I am going to have some lunch now, I think. I also got a couple of parcels. Hold on one second. The first one from Boohoo. And I'm actually currently, um, I've been advised that I've got a discount code for you guys. So it is just Freya25 that gets you 25% off tops, dresses, skirts. So I've picked out some of my favourite pieces to show you. It does have an expiry date, which is, I believe, 15th of June. But I'll leave the information down below for you. So yeah, just wanted to mention that. And I will save that for a haul. So I'll show you some of my favourite pieces. And then I also got these from... A brand called Lasara. So just whilst that video is rendering, I think I'll show you what I got. I like to show you clothes in the bedroom. I don't know why. Okay, so they very kindly sent. I actually don't know what's in here. Very my colour. I will say that. Okay, so it's got a different labelling on it for this brand. Oh, I really like this. It's kind of like, it's like short sleeve cardigan. I mean, I don't know if I'd wear it with what I'm wearing now, but... Just to give you an idea of what it looks like on. I'd probably just wear it with maybe a little white bandeau, that Urban Outfitters one that I've got, that little like crop top and some high-waisted jeans, white jeans maybe. Love the quality of the fabric and everything. I'm not sure on the pricing of this, but it feels really nice. Okay, so this is just like a basic white bandeau. 
as you can tell. Okay, and then there's two more things. Firstly, this. They are some trackies. Oh, cute. They've got like a little bit of biker detailing on the knee, if you can see there. So these will definitely be comfy around the house slouching, which to be honest, Considering I work at home most days, it's quite nice to just have comfy trousers on. These ones I live in, you'll have seen them loads. They're just from Pretty Little Thing. And they're like kind of jogger style in terms of the comfort, but they're like a linen material. So I am obsessed with these. I always link them, so hopefully they're in stock so that you can um, check them out yourself if you like them. These I got in a size medium, so they look like they could be a good fit. And with the drawstring waist, you've always got that flexibility of pulling it in. Next. Up, we have this which is branded Lasara. Cute, it's like a little safari trench coat style jacket. It is short. I'll just try it on again with what I'm wearing. It's in a size small. This is what it looks like on. Again, I probably wouldn't wear it with this top. I can feel that it's all ruched up as well. But just a nice little simple white top. It's got little pockets as well. That is that. I also wanted to do a little quick lunchtime time lapse type thing just to show you what I'm having for lunch. Keeping it very simple. We had some oat cakes left over, which if you're a northerner you'll know about, although Tom didn't know about them. But uh, yeah, I'm going to have some oat cakes with avocado, red onion, and so we've got some tomatoes as well in here, I think. These are what they look like if you don't know what I'm talking about. Everything prepared. I've got my avocado, tomatoes, red onions, oat cakes just finished. They'll probably be about done now. Tom's brought home treats from the bar. What have we gone for? Mac and cheese fries. Oh, <gasps> sticky toffee. Good morning. It is another super, super hot day today, which is lovely. I'm just heading up to Tom's mum's because he stayed the night there last night. Um, she had a bit of an accident yesterday, so that's why I didn't really vlog yesterday because um, we were pretty much just with her all day. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go grab some breakfast and head up to theirs so we can all have nice breakfast together. Then they're off to cricket and I've got errands to run today because I'm in Manchester tomorrow so I want to get on top of everything. I'm pretty much just going through our spare bedroom and reorganizing it i've got the two new um two new shelving unit things from ikea which i'm going to put up in our spare bedroom so i'm just sorting through that i'm thinking about maybe doing like a wardrobe clear out video and then showing you guys some of the stuff that i end up clearing out and put on depop so let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in because i might do that and then yes i'm gonna head up now go get some breakfast with them and see you in a bit Got my croissant, my coffee, yum. Oh, it's quite weak, my coffee. I oh, know, an extra shot would have been good, never mind. How do you like your eggs in the morning? Come on. Whoa, do not talk to me like that. Nice, you <laughs> And then you just call me a goon. Sorry, goon. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> right, we're off on a little adventure. Then um, are you going to drop me off before cricket? Yeah. So that I um, don't have to endure the eight hours of pain. Oh. I'm very supportive of everything you do. Not cricket. But cricket is one of them things that is a. Um, full day spectating sport. If I had the car, I'd come and watch you for a couple of hours, but I don't. So I'm gonna get on with some housework today. That was that. You're actually horrible to me. It's actually a bit later on in the day now. I have been filming two videos. So I've got a Boohoo haul and a Zara haul going live. I'm actually sorting through this room as well at the minute. So I got two new ones of these, but both in white to stand side by side as extra like hanging space. These clothes will all go straight back onto them. 
and clear up the bed then. And then my other issue is the shoe storage, which I think these units, as you can see, they've got like a bar at the bottom, so I can store some boxes underneath and then hopefully maybe some stacked on top. So all across there will be like two layers of double boxes. So that should be okay. And then the spare shoes and everything, I might be able to have a bit of a clear out and have enough to sort through to be able to like sell some. So there's some in there that I might have been gifted that I've never worn or don't fit. But if not, maybe just donate them. I am now going to have a quick wander down to Emily's because Finney is working on some stuff in the back garden or their back garden. I think he's building a table. Um, and obviously Ralph the puppy's there. I, I always say puppy, he's not, he's three uh, or four. I can't remember, three or four. Gives me all my coffee. Oh, I know. I know. Wrong route to an Argos trip. I've got this one with me. And this one. Like <laughs> well, <I'm> second. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, you're first. Always first. <laughs> you're my bagel. <laughs> you're my beagle. Um, we're both kind of doing up our back garden area a little bit at the minute. And we're similar sizes, aren't they? I think yours is a bit bigger. I was just going to say, I think yours is bigger, but you've got the benefit that the bins can go out on, on the outside, yeah. Yeah, yeah because um, Finney's built like a really good bin storage unit thing, hasn't he? Um, with like a little flower bed on top. I thought, is it flowers or herbs that you put It's a mixture. Um, right. We just, we don't have a clue. We just went to the garden center and picked everything we thought that looked pretty. <laughs> so um, I'm taking inspo and they bought a little table and chairs from Argos. So I'm gonna have a look, see what they look like. Cause I think we'll just get like a little maybe round table with two little foldable chairs so that there's space. Oh, oh you don't like the sound of motorbikes, do you? You think he knows where we're going? <laughs> right, Ralph, pick your toy. I like the dental. Oh, fashion, fresh breath ball. Oh, what are these? Oh, that's a good idea. He didn't really like these kind of toys, like rope. Liquid floss for rope toys. You want them? I'll show you the ones I got last time. <laughs> Oh, which one? I think you went to the red one first. <laughs> Ralphie, what's this? Which one? Which is? Yeah, red again. Yeah, I think it's red. <laughs> what's that, Ralph? What's this? What's bun? What is it, Ralph? Bunnies. Oh, they are like the same size. I'd actually quite like a bunny, I think. They're cute, aren't they? Made next door. Lovely little catch up with Emily there. Now I'm going to head back to home and um, sort out this spare room, put the rails up, get stuff done, and then wait for Tom to be back home from cricket. And that pretty much sums up this week. So, hope you enjoyed this week's weekly vlog. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll leave all the links to my social media channels down below as I always do. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.